G'day gang, Danny, how you going? Back in the Star Wars The Old Republic on this Let's Play series for the Imperial Agent. Uh, I'm just going over here to have a look if there's any exploration quests about. Otherwise, we might move on. Although I'm, I'm pretty sure there's got to be something here. Be something around here. Got to be. It's got to be. Vokai Swamp. If we go back over here, we'll find something. Nice to go for a little ride, though. Uh, nothing over here. That's interesting. Rise and shine. We'll just go back to the Avokai War Camp. I'm oh, sorry, Work Camp. The text is so small. Oh, <laughs> uh, War Camp. Oh, there's one right here. That's right, because I'm sure I saw one. I'm going to kill them! I'm going to kill them! That's what I'm going to do! I'm going to take my blaster and... Oh, sorry, I uh, didn't realize you were here. Please, I got nothing left to give you. I already paid my protection money, please! I have no idea what you're talking about. Listen, Donald. He doesn't look like one of Father's boys. Maybe he can help us. Will somebody please tell me what's going on here? A couple of months ago... My brother and his family started a farm on the other end of the swamps, near Fathra's palace. But when he couldn't afford to pay that slimy hut his protection money, Fathra sent his goons to kill him and his family. Maybe someone should have helped your brother pay, Fathra. You think I don't have my own protection money to pay? Nobody's got anything to spare. But that ain't the worst of it. Now Fathra's goons have set up on my brother's old farm. Never even bothered to give my brother a proper burying. Just left his body for the birds to pick apart. Please, stranger. We're not fighters, but somebody has to stand up to Fathra's thugs. Will you help us? Tell me what you need me to do. Listen, I don't have anything to give, but my brother stashed a case with valuables in his house in case of hard times. There's a trick to getting it open, so bring it back to me as proof you got revenge on Fathra's thugs, and I'll open it for you. If that's what it takes to get out of here. Thank you. It won't bring back my brother. But maybe it'll show those goons that the people of Hutta aren't as powerless as they think. My brother's farm is near Fathra's palace. He kept his stash hidden in the rafters. Bring it to me and I'll open it for you. The contents are yours. Right. Over here. Alright, so this will be taking us to the north. Maybe that. Oh, there's the goons there. Hello, goons. You and me, we're getting good. We're getting good. Slice and dice. Wait a minute. This seems to be the spot. It's in the rafters, though. This ain't the rafters. I'm gonna get up top somehow. Good. 
Down you go. Alright, now we just gotta get that lockbox. It is pointing me inside, but it did all say also say it was in the rafters. Oh how 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 Oh of course, here we go. Dusty lockbox, a lockbox of valuables that once belonged to Dunal's brother. Are you guys kidding me? They want more. They always want more. To it? Did you get the case? The stash? I hope you had to kill a lot of Fothra's thugs to get this. And I enjoyed every minute of it. Good. It'll just take a little twist here to open. One second. There. The contents are yours. Now please don't bother us again. <laughs> oh, Donald. Oh, Donald. Take this and get out of here, he said. All right. I think we're just about done. Oh, actually, I'm curious about going to the cantina, though. Because that's where we started. I didn't really pay attention whether there were any quests there. Just kind of walked out. Wonder if there was anything within. Oh, you better believe there was something within. Look at that. Everybody's got issues. They all need help. Okay. Please use all products only as intended. Sell some junk. Get rid of that. Requires generator. Right. Oh, get rid of that. Get rid of this. See you later. Be well. Do you Do require me? medical attention? Run a quick repair. All right. Gianna. Excuse me, stranger. I don't mean to be overly familiar, but I think you're just the kind of person who can help me. My coward of a husband has taken my son, and I need someone with the wit and muscle to bring him back. Why would your husband take your son? Because he's both a coward and a fool. My son is gifted. Do you understand me? Gifted in the force. He has the ability to train on Korriban and become Sith. My husband trained on Korriban. He had his chance at glory, but failed. And now he runs errands for a slimy hut. I will not have my son do the same. Please, you must help me. What's in this for me? I'm not wealthy, but I'd give everything I have for my son. Now you're speaking my language. Good. I knew I'd find somebody sensible eventually. He took my son to the shuttle port. A comm officer there who owed me a favor contacted me when they showed up. Be careful. My husband may not be willing to walk away peacefully. What? <laughs> Are these two doing part of my, uh, my cutscene there? Shoving a cube in my face? Okay, so we do have, we have got a couple more quests, cool. Let's go and speak to Max. A woman named Jana has asked you to retrieve her force sensitive son, Zayam. Jana wishes to send Zayam to the Sith Academy in Korriban, but her estranged husband, Kendrel, a washout of the Sith Academy, has kidnapped Zayam. A comm officer named Max told Jana that Kendrel and Zayam were spotted in the spaceport. Head to the Jagana spaceport and speak with Mex. What's up? I throw down no malice. Smogas told you this baba up your die. Gee, I wasn't expecting to hear from you again. Abra Vimos, Brandimos, Prostis, Kalb, Atavere, Dag. Vatara nai ango mis akana noam 
I must plot this error. You told me the real blade was far away. What's he found out? Small seo popudus mana ira patare mana nan kali. Atrodo no malis, smogas total jis baba apiatai. I appreciate the advice. I told G.I. Parkale Tiam Ajamas. Gratai at Kitti, Irukrit, Viltini Savasia, Savebe Kaijis. Not gonna let that guy below our cover. <laughs> You're the one Gianna recruited to rescue her son. She said you were on your way. Look, I'll point out her husband, but that's it. He seems jumpy, and I'm not risking my neck. Where's the matter, the kid? Hey, hey, Kendrill! Somebody wants to talk to you! Do I know you? What do you want with me? I'm here to discuss sending your son to Korriban. My wife is so determined for our son to become Sith that she hires a bully to threaten me. I was once an acolyte at the Academy on Korriban. There's no failure at the Sith Academy. Those who can't cut it die. I got wise and fled before they could kill me, and I'll die before I see my son eaten alive by those Sith dogs. Let me take my son and flee. Tell my wife that you persuaded me, and we took the shuttle to Korriban. She won't know any different. It's pretty harsh. I can either kill him, or I can lie for him, and let him take... What could be a good recruit for the Sith Empire? Away from us? Where's the middle option? Sorry, Kendrill. Your son's going to Korriban and there's nothing you can do to change that. Ah! Damn it all! Give <laughs> back to your mother. Forget what you saw here, okay? I'll go home now. That was... never mind. Not my business. It is what it is. You found Zion and Kendra at the Jaguna spaceport and recovered. Zion by force. Speak to Gianna near the medical center in Jiguana to claim your reward. Now we've also got this other thing to contend with, don't we? Intercept the Red Blade. We'll handle that in a second. <laughs> Keep them guessing. Thank you for returning my son to me. I don't know what became of my husband and I don't much care. Soon Zion will be on the shuttle to Korriban. You did what was needed. I'm deadly and charming. Here's your reward, as promised. Zion may hate me for getting his father killed, but I hear hate and grief make for a fine Sith. Apparently. All right, make me look good. Now, we do, we do, we do have to deal with this red blade business because we can't have that guy showing up and ruining everything so we're gonna go and do that right now uh there's no real oh well, i guess that's somewhat quicker not by much a little bit quicker Nothing is ever easy. On the way to the spaceport, however, you receive disturbing news that the real Red Blade is landing on Hutter now. In order to preserve your accomplishments and keep your cover from being blown, you must intercept the Red Blade at the Jaguna spaceport. So, you're the one who killed my men. The pretender who wants to be the blade. 
you must be the pirate who's too scared to use his name. I'm the Red Blade, you worm. The real Red Blade. And you've got one chance to explain yourself before I burn a hole through your head. Hard to explain myself to a dead man. You're a piece of work, but you're not leaving here alive. This fool? Where'd he go? Where'd he go, Red Blade? You got no idea. And it's about to happen. Take it! All going down. Give you some of the red blade, you know what I'm saying? Dying words was damn you, protector. <laughs> All right. Now, I saw there was a lore object there, but it just was up there too brief. Couldn't even read it. Uh. Show up here at all. You receive. You receive. Discovered Codex Entry Intelligence Profile of the Red Blade Agents. Red Blade Agent. The Red Blade. Gender unknown, species unknown, age unknown, background summary. Mysterious pirate known to operate along the ice and corridor trade route in the Outer Rim. Typically assaults and pillages mid-sized trade vessels with military escorts. Rarely docks at the underworld, havens, port, nowhere, wild bites to refuel, sell off cargo and celebrate accomplishments, rarely emerges from ship or private suites during celebrations, personality, the Red Blade is brutal during raids, rarely leaving survivors, despite the pirate's obvious caution, he, we believe the Red Blade's identity isn't entirely secret, he or she has been present during ra raucous parties, and gatherings at several pirate bases, but rather revealed only to be trusted, only to trusted associates and otherwise protected through obscurity. Notes, although the Red Blade identity is suitable for undercover operations in Hut space, do not attempt to operate under his, this alias, near the ice and corridor. Message received. Okay, so let's go back to the cantina. I'm gonna finish up there. Uh, we've got another... Well, that's a heroic mission. Don't need to worry about that. But, now that I've seen that heroic mission, I wonder if that's what's gonna be over there. Oh, look at that. I uh, wonder who that is. Who was that? Interesting armor. Can spare a minute. Go pull your bobo to do one of one days, Nemo. Do ya do kaganga? Jubani Dori, Nanana Dota, Dabita, one of one da. Conjuda, Kasu Yai Kura, Dokagi Kong. I'll see what I can do. Okay, we'll come back, we'll talk to Lou. Seems like a quest we should have got right at the beginning. But it'll be easy enough to do. Do some sneaky sneakies. Take out our gangsters, top speed.
Done and done. Alright, we're not leaving Hutter yet. Quest complete. Now just your quest. Welcome to Hutter, kid. You're new here. You look like you got a bright future. So let me give you a word of advice. Watch your back out there. Learn how to please the people in charge. And as soon as you can, get out. I don't need your advice. There's a gang war raging out there right now. If you want to survive on Hutter, you're going to have to learn the ropes. I can get you experience navigating Hutter's gangs. Help you build your reputation. If you help me out. Of course, there's always a catch. This is a gangster town, controlled by a greedy and cruel hut named Nemro. As if there was any other kind. Used to be I worked for Nemro's gang. Violent, bloody life. That's why I left. But now, my little brother's following my footsteps. Nemro's street gang leader, Rex Gear, is my old buddy. I thought he might help get my brother out, but I can't get to Rex for all the fighting. Some big tough gangster you turned out to be. I've been out of that life a long time now, and I'm not so young anymore. The problem is, Nemro's enemy, Fathra, has my buddy Rex and his men pinned down. Fathra's gang are more like animals than people. If you could blast your way through them and talk to Rex, convince him to let my brother go, I'd be grateful. What exactly do I get out of it? I mean, besides a reputation? I told you what you stand to gain in terms of reputation. But if that's not enough, I think I can swing some credits. We have an agreement. Glad to hear it. You'll find Nemro's boys holed up in Jaguna, but you're gonna need to fight through Fathra's thugs. So be careful. All right, big boy. You just sit there. Yeah, hold Rise tight. Shine. Sort this out. It'll take about three seconds. You got some skill breaking through Fathra's line, and some nerve coming in here. Do I know you? I don't have time for this, I'm here for the Brel kid. What do you want with him? You working for Fathra too? You can't be serious. Okay, alright, I guess I believe you. At least you don't look like you work for them. The Brel kid's a traitor. First time Fathra's thug starts shooting at us, he turns coward and tries to join their side. Nemro's gonna have a lot of questions for him, and I can't let him go. I think we can work out a deal. You're right. We're civilized people, aren't we? Look, I don't want to make trouble. So how about I pay you some credits and you go on your way? Tell Brel's big brother you got here too late or something. You'll be richer, and this weasel will get what he has coming. I have a better idea. You let Brel go. He and his brother leave Hutter for good, and nobody knows any different. What am I supposed to tell the boys? Turn coward and get a free pass off Hutter? That kind of deal's no good for morale. This isn't my problem. You're not gonna give me a choice, are you? Looks like you got lucky, Brel. Your big brother's hired muscle just saved your skin. Thank you. You better get out of here, too. The boys won't be happy when they find out what you did. What was that? All right, make me look good. Out of my way, gangsters. I ain't got time. All right, Lou, you got lucky, too. I just heard from my little brother, and it's a good thing, too. Fathra doesn't look like he's about to let up. And if it gets much worse, Nemro might start being more picky about who he lets on board the shuttles. Time to pay up. I can't thank you enough, kid. Here's the credits I promised. Be careful on Hutter, though. Hutts will eat you alive if you let him. Not this guy. 
Not this chissy chiss chiss chiss. Make me look good. Actually, you guys haven't seen my head, have you? Other than the character creation. There he is. Chiss man. Chiss man Dan. Kiss the chiss. What? Alright. Oh, I left something over there. Left two purples. Let's get that helmet back on. No one's allowed to see me. Right, so I think we're just about done here. Um, what I was saying about the heroic is that there may be areas which are heroic for heroic missions. So I'll leave that alone for now. We are going to focus again on leaving Hutter. Take a shuttle to the Imperial fleet. But it was pretty cool to go around and do a little bit more than I would usually do. You and me are getting good. Give you a good look at this particular world. Alright, there's the shuttle. Let's get on board. Take me to the Imperial me? Fleet. Getting good. Kidoki, what do we got? Kaleo Street Outfit. Oh, we got a few items. But I can't preview them. Oh, that's no good. I don't know what they look like. How do I know which one to pick? Guess I'll go for that one. What's it look like? Let's throw it on Kaleo. I hope it's good. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a whole set. Right, okay. What do you reckon about that, Kaleo? <laughs> look at them red pants. Do you like that any better? I wonder what the other ones would look like. Oh well. Let's continue on. We now got to board a shuttle for drum and cars. We gotta do that because we don't have a ship of our own. So this is the main... Oh, look at these two. Looks cool. This is like the city, I suppose. The hub area. The place people congregate. Go and buy things, trade things. Use the Galactic Trade Network, the auction house. Or... Board a shuttle to Drum and Cars. Rise and shine. Now, I believe, is there two ways of going to Drum and Cars? There may well be. We're going to chat to this guy. Mem amak kupka kramanik um nu kiga mayamak nulilak apajam kamgam amka nem nang. Ampa nem nang memua inok. Lapo ram amka. Mamni nikal. Nagnaya mamni kamgam. That's good news. Nane kari maraka amkam. Ja uklibik. Me marak ne bab. Ja kipem guana. Right. So we could just go on that shuttle, that'll take us there. Or we could go the adventurous way. So I think today we go through the adventurous way. But before I do, I'm going to stop this episode right here. Let me know what you think of the series so far, folks. Do me a favor, hit the like button. If you, if this is your first time here on the channel, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button for future videos. All right, let's go on board.